Hey guys, welcome to Scalehanger 182. Today I would like to show you how to build a German town in Autumn Diorama. First what we need is a base. I'm gonna use that wooden base I got from my local hobby store. Also I've got a few foam boards that I got in my model store but you can find them as well easily on eBay or art shop like Hobbycraft in UK. I'm gonna use few of those in that project because this material is great for scratch building. So plan everything first, where you want to place building, how wide streets and sidewalk is going to be, place a model and figure to help yourself visualize everything. So this foam sheet is also available in craft shops. It's easy to cut and thin enough for my sidewalk. Now it's time to cut some windows and door. Again, use the figure to check is everything in scale. I'm gonna use that blue foam again to create some simple ornamentation on the building. I'm gonna cut out some plastic strips and use it as a frame for windows. You can get different thickness of plastic sheets online or craft shops. To cut it the best tool is a metal ruler and a plastic scriber I use.
Mr. Surfacer 500 primer and filler is the thickness from Mr. Surfacer's range. You can create a nice building texture by just dabbing the paintbrush on the walls. For ornamentations I'm just gonna paint it with normal brush strokes for more smooth look. So because the corner of the building is not straight angle, I'm cutting the wall edges that way for better fit. I want to use LED lights and in order to wire to fit inside I have to replace the middle bit. I'm gonna use a plastic tube I got from a model store. For the light system I use Woodland Scenics Just Plug Light Hub. It's a great product if you don't want to fiddle too much with electronics and soldering wires. However, the LED won't fit in the tube so I have to cut the wire anyway, but it's very easy to tie them back together. foam board and foam sheets lets you easy cut the flagstones. It might look like time consuming and boring while boring it is, it only took me around 15 minutes to complete. And now I'm gonna drill some holes and tunnels for street lamp wires.
painting here is straightforward. However, you can use washes and oil paints to modulate a little bit so the colors will look less fresh. To represent the window glass I'm just gonna use an old notebook screen protector I found in my house. Next, let's start priming the whole street. First, I use Mr. Surface Air Grey Primer. Use as many shades of grey as possible to paint the flagstones and just keep it random. Now it may start to look like some old creepy public toilet floor but we're not finished yet. We are going to finish it now with spraying a few light coats of grey. Not too little and not too much. Keep it in more color unified but transparent so all shades will be still visible. And when you finish you can clear coat it if you want. However, it's not necessary. I'm using a black enamel wash from Tamiya to make this street look more dirty. Mm -hmm. 
Because this house has no interior, I'm gonna use a brown paper to make a window blinds. To attach walls to a floor and fix them together, I'm gonna use a hot glue gun. And now I'm gonna attach the bare wires with the isolation tape. More drawing, cutting and planning. The flat roof would be much easier here. Note that I use Mod Podge here instead of normal PVA glue. I prefer this one for scenery and dioramas as it's stronger and thicker. This is another plastic tube, but thicker. I'm gonna use it for chimney. Oil paints. As I mentioned before, these are very helpful for making different effects like color fading, dirt and stains. Thanks to them the roof won't look that boring.
Next, I'm applying dark wash, so the roof will look even more dirty. Another great stuff I'm using for my dioramas is Sculpt the Mold Modeling Compound. Just mix this stuff with water and you can shape your landscapes. I'm gonna use a little bit here, and while still wet, I'm gonna cover it with soil I collected in my garden. And I'm gonna spread some of that soil on the street as well, let it fill the small gaps and later we're gonna fix it with PVA glue. I'm gonna use a blender to make a dry leaves for my diorama from the real ones I collected in a park few weeks ago. Your wife probably wouldn't like to see this. To attach the leaves I use diluted PVA glue, but first I'm gonna fill that gap and cover the whole street with PVA and mix it with soil beads. The street will be a bit dirty and have more autumn look. Keep the leaves more accumulated on the sides of the road and sides of the sidewalk, like you see in a real life. And don't forget that leaves are falling on vehicles too. I'm going to add some self adhesive grass turfs. But it's not sticking well to that soil, so I'm gonna help myself with Mod Podge. Now I'm going to fix the roof and attach larger LED light inside the house. Last minute idea is to use some old figures and place them so they will create a shadow on the window blinds. Hopefully it will I'm gonna finish that build by adding a street sign from the same set that I've got the street lamps from. I'm gonna also add some figures and this cool looking Citroen stuff car.
Well this is it, I hope this video will help you to build something nice and give you some ideas. Please leave a like and comment below, thanks for watching and see you soon.